In any field or endeavor, one of the oldest and best ways to gain knowledge is to read. Fintech is no different. On this channel, I've shared various domains of fintech, the skills and courses that are most in demand in fintech, and a whole lot of other fintech related topics. However, if this all still feels like a lot to you, then a trusted age old way to bring yourself up to speed on the topic of fintech is with books. My own journey to fintech started with a book that provided me with an insightful perspective of what the future of finance was shaping up to be. So in this video, I'm going to share with you 10 of the best books that you need to read if you're looking to have a career in fintech, looking to invest or set up a fintech business, or simply seeking to elevate your level of understanding of fintech and the future of finance. Let's get into it. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremy and if you're new here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so because on this channel I speak about fintech, digital transformation and career development. Readers are leaders. Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. Now those are popular quotes that highlight the merits of investing your time in a good book. Two of my favorite quotes are one by Jim Rohn that says, reading is essential for those who seek to rise above the ordinary. The other is by JK Rowling, who's the author of the Harry Potter series, where she says, if you don't like to read, you simply haven't found the right book. I believe in the list of fintech related books that I'm going to share, there will be a right book for everyone based on your area of interest or need. So the way I've chosen to structure the list is by following the ranking done by the Bankers by Day website. This is because it makes it so much easier to recommend the best fintech book for specific fintech topics, domains, or target market. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the list of books that are going to help us rise above the ordinary. Starting off with a classic, Bank 4.0 by Brett King. This is without a doubt one of the most deeply insightful books about the future of banking. This book comes after his previous two, which are Bank 2.0 and Bank 3.0. I worked in the banking space for close to a decade and I read Brett King's Bank 3.0 back in 2015 during my tenure at the bank. I was blown away by his ability to paint such a vivid picture of the inevitable disruption that was occurring in the banking industry and his predictions turned out to be surprisingly accurate. This book is ultimately what set my course for a career in fintech. But King is a world-renowned futurist, author and speaker and in this book he offers a comprehensive and very well-researched outlook on technologies and the concepts that will transform banking as we know it. He tells a story about the bank 4.0 era where the banks either are a part of the technology ecosystem or they cease to exist completely. He predicts that technologies like blockchain, AI, and augmented reality will combine with consumer behavior and psychology to build a world where banking will be instant, smart, and universal. Hence the tagline of his book is banking everywhere, but never at a bank. This is truly a great and insightful read and is categorized as the best for digital banking. The next book is by the author Augustin Rubini titled Fintech Founders. Now, this is a book that every entrepreneur, particularly in the fintech space should have. It includes 75 interviews with fintech entrepreneurs who discuss their journeys, the roadblocks they faced and the pitfalls they encountered. You get to look inside the heads of these entrepreneurs who have raised over $10 billion in total. So if you're thinking about setting up your own fintech startup or joining one, then you should absolutely read fintech founders and hear the valuable insights that these fintech leaders have to share. They provide real world insights and practical lessons about financial technology and they help the reader to understand the most pressing challenges and opportunities that comes with disruption of the financial services industry. Augustin Rubini himself adds his view on the future of finance and he touches on the potential developments in banking, payments, insurance and crypto. I would say the best aspect of this book is that the companies interviewed aren't powerhouses or giants by any means. Rather, they are a size that you can relate to if you're also just getting started. If you're a fintech entrepreneur, then there will be a lot of value to be gained from reading fintech founders. The next book is titled Bubble or Revolution. Now, this book is authored by Silicon Valley leaders from Google, Microsoft, and Facebook. This book should be your first step if you intend to work in a field related to blockchain or cryptocurrencies. Bubble or Revolution cuts through all 
all the hype to offer you a balanced and comprehensive analysis of blockchain and cryptocurrencies. The product managers who wrote this book provide insights from a different perspective. They look at blockchain and cryptocurrencies from the angle of a big tech firm. This book will be beneficial to any individuals who are trying to figure out how blockchain and cryptocurrencies work in the real world. There have been lots of articles written on the subject and even I have posted a lot of videos on the topic. But we all know this subject is quite a tough one to explain, which is why you will appreciate what the authors have been able to do with this book. It covers everything you need to know on the topic, which is why it takes a high recommendation as the best book on our list for blockchain and cryptocurrencies. Next, we have the best for artificial intelligence or machine learning in finance. This book delves into the technical aspects of machine learning and its implications on the global financial sector. In today's world, machine learning algorithms are easily performing the tasks that previously required the expertise of only the most skilled individuals. This has transformed the way we do business and live. Now, this book is targeting those who have some programming knowledge and want to learn about the technical elements of implementing machine learning in finance. ML and AI are highly sought after skills with a major shortage in talent. Anyone who can successfully apply this skill can expect to have a highly rewarding career. The author uses the most recent real life problems faced by ML practitioners and explains how to solve them using math and code. This book comes highly recommended for anyone on the development side of the financial services industry and even the most seasoned financial professionals will benefit from the information provided. It's best suited for quants, financial engineers, or anyone interested in the work that quants do. It's definitely not a simple book to read, but it will surely be worth the time and effort. Next is the best book for small businesses and the firms that cater to them. Small businesses are the backbone of any economy and they make a significant contribution by creating local and steady jobs. However, due to their small size and modest finance teams and generally their weaker balance sheets, they are frequently left out of the standard credit systems. This leaves a great opportunity for fintechs who focus more on the transactional volume to cater for these smaller accounts. This is why the book Fintech Small Business and the American Dream is a must-read book for both fintech entrepreneurs and bankers. The book highlights the journey of financial innovation as seen through the eyes of these micro firms. Fintech has made it possible to approve and distribute financial services without the use of paper, and this has benefited the small enterprises more than anyone else. It examines historical trends, current innovations, and how much the regulatory environment continues to change when it comes to small business finance. All these are definitely what is needed in several economies around the world and this book highlights what more there is to come. The next book is titled Platform Revolution. It's a practical guide to the new platform economy that is transforming the way we live, work, and play. I recently had a chat with one of our bank partners about their strategy. Their tagline was transformation into a platform business. I found it very interesting that a bank was rebranding itself as a platform business. But after reading this book, you begin to understand that banks are simply trying to replicate the success of platforms like Google's Play Store, Apple's App Store, Uber, Airbnb, Amazon, and PayPal. These platforms allow companies to benefit from the innovation of others that release products on their platform. The platform economy is something that banks are pouring billions of dollars into each year, and this book goes into how such platforms can be monetized, how they can access primary markets, and what it takes to succeed with this model. This book highlights the factors that brought success for those who adopted this model, and the reasons for failure for those who weren't as fortunate. Both of these perspectives are very insightful, and you're sure to find relevant content in this book, The Platform Revolution. It goes as the best recommendation for the platform economy. The next book is titled A Guide to Financial Regulation for Fintech Entrepreneurs. Now, if you have any amount of experience or knowledge about the financial services industry, you will agree that the regulatory environment is quite a hectic landscape to navigate due to the financial crisis we've experienced in the past, as well as the numerous cases of fraud, the regulators have doubled down on ensuring compliance and regulation. But it's not all bad. The companies that are able to play the regulatory game will have a strategic advantage and this is what the book seeks to accomplish for its readers. This book is written for anyone who has the responsibility of formulating or executing a fintech startup strategy or whose job touches financial services regulation. Also, if you simply want an easy to read instruction to the world of financial services and its regulation, then this is definitely the book 
for you. The RedTech book is next on our list and is the best for regulatory technology. Now, RedTech is one of the biggest topics in mainstream banking right now. If you're unfamiliar with the different domains of fintech or you're hearing RedTech for the first time, then I have another video linked here where I go into detail about all the different subsets of fintech, including RedTech, WealthTech, which we'll be talking about later on. Now, each year, banks spend billions of dollars on compliance, monitoring, KYC, and AML initiatives, paying for fines and other expenses. RegTech is the remedy for what may be a crippling expense for the banks. Now, banks are seeking to dramatically reduce their regulatory burden by leveraging technologies such as AI, machine learning, big data, and so on. And this is why you must read this book. It examines how machine learning and other technologies are transforming regulatory compliance. It explores real-world tech applications as well as the industry's overall future prospects. There is such a wealth of information about the RegTech industry which is on the rise. The RegTech book is the highest recommendation for regulatory technology. Following up, we have the WealthTech book which is best for wealth management technology. Now, As the title implies, the focus of this book is on the WealthTech sector, specifically how robo-advisors, direct-to-client applications, blockchain-based systems, and other low-cost threats are affecting the wealth management management industry. The industry is undergoing massive transformation and anyone who wants to live and thrive must join the WealthTech train. The book takes the perspectives of specialists from many fields who contributed articles based on their experience and expertise to this book. This is a great format because it allows you to hear from multiple perspectives on a topic that is still quite nascent. It's a must read for anyone working in private banking or wealth management. The WealthTech book comes in as the best recommendation for wealth tech. And finally, we end with the best book on banking disruption. This is the second Brett King book on this list and it's definitely well deserved. The book is structured as a series of interviews with fintech professionals from around the world providing a diverse range of viewpoints on the issue. The unique and interesting aspect of this book is that it seems to refer to the predatory approach that fintech firms are adopting to pursue mainstream finance. Regardless of whether you are a traditional financial service provider or an agile fintech, the insights are absolutely valuable. It discusses topics such as neobanks, peer-to-peer lending, the impact of social media on finance, recent trends in consumer behavior, financial inclusion, blockchain, and so many more. These are all hot topics that are generating a lot of noise and deserve a deeper look. As always expected from Brett King, this is a well-written book that contains a plethora of useful information. So friends, those are 10 of the best fintech books ranked by category to read in 2022. A few honorable mentions are The Innovation Ultimatum, The Future is Faster Than You Think, and The Financial services revolution. I'll leave the links to all these books in the description for those who are interested. I hope you found this video valuable and if you did remember to hit the like button and leave me a comment. As always the link is in the description for those who want to grab one of the African themed prints that I wear from Wear Ghana. Have an amazing week and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys!